Hey guys, Total Eclipse here today with some gameplay footage of me playing Port of Call. Now, Port of Call is a free-to-play game on Steam at the moment, and it's a narrative exploration game that focuses on telling the player an immersive story. Now, the game is an experiment in short-form storytelling, according to its uh, profile on Steam, and it will be interesting to see if it's more gameplay orientated or storytelling based. Oh, okay, so here we are. We are on a dock in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a person. Let's say hi. Uh, be a bit of a boring game if we're just on this dock the whole time. Okay. Hello. Hello, Matt. Oh. You've gone. She looked a bit like death to me. Ooh. Broken lantern. The lamp looks broken. No point in messing with it. I don't know. We could fix it. You're late. Late for what? Where am I? Where the hell did you come from and who are you? Let's go with that one. Mind your manners. You never mind. And never you mind. Come on. I do like the uh, the character characters. Yeah. On board. Yes, Captain. Oh, hello. Hello. Now you are a mighty fine boat. Oh, we are off. We are, we, are, there's no waiting with this one. Let's go. Is this the bridge? It can't be. Yes, it is. It's a bit spooky. Oi. Back to business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get out of the toilet. I'm a captain. Oh, yeah, I'm scrapping. I'll have you no more dilly dallying. Okay. What are you talking about? Great. They've sent me another idiot. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. Have a ship to run. I guess I could start you off on a simple task, though. It's not too hard for you, wee little brain. There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Go get a ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. Okay, we're just going to skip all this. All right, all right, all right. Nice little... Nice. Okay. What's this? Ooh, a phone. I think it's an antique. Middle of the Atlantic. Oh, hey. It's a bit ghostly. Like... This remind This... This kind of, like, makes... Oh. Okay, not weird at all. <laughs> Why would I eat you? We're six and a half. Okay. You you play with the light. Find Ted's. Okay. You know, this this already like it makes me think that this is like purgatory, like whoever I am, I've died. I've died. That's it. Okay, let's have a look in here. Lots of people are we visiting former selves like Aspects of ourselves. Ted's is not here. Oh, maybe he is. Hello, Ted's. We got you. Oh, I wish they'd add a like a run mechanic to this game. I'm too impatient. Here, we got Ted's. <laughs> not creepy giggle at all. Mm -hmm. Last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mum and Dad were gone. Who is Marcus? Marcus is my big brother. He's nice and fully and silly and dark. 
A dork. I assume that was. We were playing hide and seek. What happened? See. That's had a great idea. So listen to him. Where did you hide? I climbed him, but I fell there and it got dark. I got scared. Oh, yeah. I think we've all died. I think we're dead. Yeah, he always liked being a seeker. Just didn't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to? Yeah, let's be nice to him. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. Oh my god, she's gone. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we helping lost souls? Is that the whole... Is he... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're helping people enter the next realm of life. Those are kids of it every day. And you don't give a rat's ass about any of them. Why would she be any different? Hell if I know. Hell if I care. I just deliver the stiffs. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. We've sussed this. Got another driver. Look to the end of the hallway. And go talk to the drinkards in the bar. Can't understand that thing that fat man did. Is there a the end of the hallway? Oh, just make you think about what lies ahead, Paolo. Strangely familiar. Oh, can I read it? No. I think that's possibly my room. I'm trying to find a way to actually. Uh, Open the door. Thank you. This must be the guy. <laughs> okay, do I have to fetch the bartender or am I going to be the bar? I think I'm going to be the bartender. Ah. Uh, Goodness me, he doesn't want much, does he? What have we got? Does, is that music? Oh! We're waiting for it, you know. Son of what I want you. You get me a ring and maybe we'll have a little chat. Along, I guess what do you want? So how do we start with some I think a gin and tonic would do nicely. Okay, where's the gin? Now which to which which gin is it? Because we've gotta be careful, we don't wanna What? Those aren't... Okay. Okay, I think I just need to pick one of them. So... Gin, gin, gin. Let's go with this bottle. And a tonic. Yeah, your soda water. Come on. Cola? Okay. Gin. <laughs> Gin and rum. <laughs> it's not hard. No, I know. I just. 
Oh my god! That was that that was a silly mistake. I should have gone with that. All right, Jin, you got a bit. Uh, what? No. Jin, that was colas, surely. Ah, okay, okay, because it was coke and tonic. There we go. <sighs> Tell me, everyone on the ship was dead. Do you think I'm dead? <laughs> Quite dead to me. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Most everyone on the ship was dead for some time. I'm not sure about him. How can I tell him? The story I've not told in a long time. Okay, well, we, we're all ears. Oh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, that's a good point. Who who wants to hear how someone died? Not, not really. <laughs> I had a long time ago. has to say she died in an accident when she was young, and my wife followed her soon after. Died of a heart. Broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then. And while I took to drinking, it eventually did me in. Anyway, you know what they say. You can only drink yourself to death once. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you seem to know how you got here. Do you know how I can tell if I'm dead? Now that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some time, though. Pretty sure you'll figure it out. Now then, how about another drink? I'm feeling some rum and cola. We'll get this first time round. Bearded sailor's definitely the rum. And... Not your pop's soda. <sighs> I know it is. I'd tip you. Well, if I had any money, that is. Now, what were we talking about? I can't remember anything before the boat. I can't even recall my name. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> floating because we're on a boat and... Ah, never mind. Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we go a little fancier? Vodka and orange. It's quite clever, the names. <laughs> Providing your gin's made out of juniper. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that. Uh, who is that? That's a little creepy. Well, let's face it. If I'm dead, I can't be killed again. Is that my wife? Was that me? Was I a woman? Okay, I'm going down. I'm going down. Ah! Aha! Hell and heaven, or... I think that's what it represents. Scaly surface. Hmm. That's... Definitely Asia. Whereabouts in Asia, though? Should I go... Oh, we, we've gone back to... The, okay. Oh wait, we went up, didn't we? Was that me? Is that me that's just floating around? Uh -huh. Just require the f my full. Wait a minute. The hell is oh, no, in the bow? Oi! Get off my bow! You're blocking the view. Feels like I can get out there and tell it to me. Poor thing. Hmm. Hello. This person I've seen this that doesn't look dead. Your face is blurry. Why are you here? Could I ask the same question I'm here to come? We're all dead. At least I thought we are. We all that were until I saw you. I wonder. Have you talked to the ferryman? Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Something for you to 
How does he not do? He's a cantankerous old man. Where exactly are we going? We'll help if you ask. I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, we need to find out where your long lost husband or love was, I think is the next one. Am I Marcus? Sins it feels heavy in a way I've never felt. It's our secrets we've been hiding from ourselves in our present lives. Think about this person you're waiting for. Who is he? He was the one who waited with me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been there. But it seems like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. Marcus! I'm Marcus! I am Marcus! I am definitely Marcus! And I think I sent her to hell. Oh dear. Huh. Where's my sister? My lover, possibly? My father? Of course, of course, it's came to me. This is all my family. My sister died. She died with me playing with her. Then, I spoke to my father who died from drinking, who said that his daughter and wife had died. That was my mother. That was, was that my mother? Said, well, it could be my mother, or it could have been my lover. It would make sense if it were my mother. Because then my grand, my dad died of... Oh. It's just meant to represent a uh, penance. This time the man from the boy finally emerges. But he is a coward still, or will he face his wraths? Was that wraths or wraiths? Will he let the sand tickle out? Or has he the courage to turn back the hands of fate? You don't do do you not recognise the reflection gleaming in the dark? So he's myself, my sins, what I've made. 
An embodiment of, yeah, the oil of your pain. And all your guilt stares back at you from the abyss. What do you want from me? Little girl, the drunken man, the lover that lingers still. Chain binds them all to me. Every link whispers a name. Marcus! 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 I knew it! I knew it! What do you mean? I've just met these people. No, no. Many ask for another minute, but few choose to squander it. I pity the high price of admi for admittance is considered. What do you mean have a high price? Are you saying I knew these people? But no such compassion will I bestow upon a craven such as you. The answer you sought I give to you now. A shattered soul taken to an edge, sickened wrists brought about an end. Sickened wrists. Did I commit suicide? But is this the end of a story or the start of another? Most likely the former as I see no hope for the latter. Pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. It was your hand that slew you. Yeah, I knew it, yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them, I've never, I've never murdered it. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. In action can be just as strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. The sister dead of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally, the woman waiting for the man who never came. Oh, maybe she wasn't my... Maybe she was... Oh, I missed that. I keep pressing too fast. Recall, recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her. Something you resent had Big Brother watched her. As he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin taken too soon. Mistakes were still made and consequences must be had. A wrong and a right do not always absolve. absolve. And so you must live or die with the results you have wrought. still have questions and I have answers. Father, the father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame, the woman waiting for the man who never came. Of course, who else could he be? But was he a loving father or uncontrollable debauchee? Oh, I've done it again! I wonder what kind of love compels the man to the bottom. Dad had a problem, but I know in the end he cared for me. One more quarrel I have with you before a resolution is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the one the woman was waiting for. Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave. The wash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again. Ignorant of the result your actions would spawn. Ah! So I loved her and killed myself because there was nothing worth living for because I wanted to see her. I just called you a shadow of the person she was looking for. What did she mean? Though it stares you in the face, still you do not see. Flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side me. I am everything you hate, all you regret, woven into one person, your greatest lament. You're me, and Alice was my wife. I remember now, she was my Alas, it seems that the need for me is done, though do not believe that you have won. One, thing, one more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. I like the coal. 
it is a rather interesting story, and I think they're planning on doing it into an episodic structure. They might have me hooked. We shall soon find out. It's 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 an interesting game. Like I need to find her. Is she back over here? No. Let's go to this guy once more. Oh, he's gone. Oh, brilliant. Oh, light. Here we go. I knew there were people here. Okay. Lighthouse in the darkness. There's definitely a metaphor. The boat is still running. It's a big boat. Just for one family. And now I have the choice by the looks of it. Okay, okay, I think I understand. That's you, I can see you now. Do you know who I am? You found me. Everything went dark, and then I heard a voice. It was you, you brought me back. But now you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroads. Oh, I hate crossroads. I'm going to have to choose between her or my family. What choice do I have? A special Marcus, I hope you know that. I do. You're both a part of this world and the world we both came from. But it can't be that way once you walk through one of these doors. I won't hold anything against you. I love you. And I know I'll see you again. If you take the door close to me, you will travel to a life beyond with everyone you've met on this ship. Okay, so am I very close to death? This is the... Well, it's like purgatory before. I died. Right. Cat's out of the bag now, already. There's no happy ending here. No sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make, and I don't envy you one bit. Know that if you choose the door to go back to the world of the living, there might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by and wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be a different ship. <coughs> or maybe it won't be a ship at all, I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice. And I can't sit here forever till you choose. Go on. So, do we choose the love of my life and the family I met? And to carry on the afterlife with them? Not knowing whether it is heaven or hell or paradise or... Or do I go back to the world of the living? Is there a light still out there for me? chance to repent my sins? I think... Or are you going to go through the left and stay with me and the others? I think if I'm dead and it doesn't feel painful... I don't remember it. I will go to the afterlife and accept whatever has been done. What? I'm stuck. No, it was a bad choice. Oh, wait, maybe not. We're going the other side. Hmm. Marcus. So that's the end of my uh, playthrough with Port of Call. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy, please like the video. If you want to check out the game yourself, check it out on Steam. It's Port of Call. Nice and simple to get. It is free to play. And it is, um, well, it's a story, story-based game rather than a game game. But it is an interesting concept. And it does raise some very good questions. Uh, but if you did enjoy, please like the video. And if you want to see some more uh, reviews of new games coming out or even check out some great gameplay footage from upcoming AAA games such as Call of Duty. I've got the beta on my channel at the moment and I'm also going to be bringing some Fallout 4, Star Wars Battlefront, XCOM 2, uh, probably some DSX um, Divided, all those games coming out soon. So subscribe if you do want to see that and thank you all for watching.